The story so far. Following her master's trail, Hanit made the long journey to Stoneguard. There she's talked to Natalia, who had been friends with Zanta. Following Natalia's clues, Hanit found her master in the forest, except he had been petrified by the beast called Red Eye. Hanit, forgive this old man for not keeping his promise. The last words he wrote before the curse stilled his hand. In the same note, he told Hanit to find a woman called Susanna. She is a seer, he wrote, and perhaps she can help. And thus, Hanet does arrive in the frozen village of Still Snow. Oh. By the spirits, the snows fall. The snow falls deep here. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh god! It's like it's like any animal when they first see snow. Oh my god, I never thought about that. That is that is adorable. But then thou art a snow leopard. Aren't that, aren't you? For you arriving in this white wasteland is like it's like a homecoming. Woohoo! Party. I ain't never seen a snow leopard that big before. It doesn't bite, does it? Cheerily. Fear not, young ones. Lind is with me. She is a gentle creature. She will do you no harm. She's yours? Funny sort of pet, ain't she? <laughs> Lind is not a pet. She is my companion, my friend. <laughs> Friends, you say? Just like us, then. Yep. Aye. Yeehaw! Her fur so soft. Whoa. And warm, too. Uh-oh. So. Tell me, children. Does a woman by the name of Susanna live here? Mm. The old lady? The old witch, you mean? Aye, we know her. Who doesn't? Now then. I see. And where might I find her? Oh. See that house with the red roof over yonder? Boy, that 3D effect. Mm. Holy shit. Ah, yes I do. Mm -hmm. That's the old witch's place. Thank you, children. Bye. Of course. Say hello to the witch for us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Lind. Oh. Enjoyed the attention, didn't you? Did you? <sighs> <laughs> Best come with me before they return with more friends. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think Lind would enjoy that very much. I mean, obviously, Lind is a rather tame animal. At least as tame as you can get for a wild animal. Anyways, boys, let's listen to some travel banter. <laughs> Lind is popular with the children, isn't she? Yes, in our village, the young ones oft played with her. Lind seems to enjoy the games as well. Nothing warms the heart quite like seeing children smile. Lind is most proud of her fur. She likes nothing better than to be stroked and groomed. I can see that. Of course, the children like it too, to bury themselves in her, in her thick, warm coat. Um, yes? What is it? You think Lynn would snap at me if I stroked her? Of course not, wilt thou? <laughs> would I ever? Once the children have had their turn, of course. Then by all means. Oh my god, Ophelia, you are so pure. Oh god, why is there a crowd outside this lady's house? God damn it. Guys, when they called her a witch, I don't think they actually meant it. Hmm, what's this crowd?
Listen up. But I have journeyed many leagues to have my fortune told by Madame Susanna. Oi! I implore you, pray open the door. God's teeth, man! Get out of my way! <laughs> well, that didn't work. Uh, this guy's been suspiciously quiet. What the? You wretched whore, son! Apologize at once. Boy. Ye won't get an apology out of old Alec. He don't talk none. Honestly. Has he lost his tongue? No. Nay. It's just that Susanna Susanna does the talking for them for the both of them. Yeah. Ah. Oh, I don't wanna have to accost this guy. Oh, who? who is that man? Doubtless. Susanna's minder. Looks after her and keeps the riffraff from bothering her, as you might have noted. Truth is, name's Alec. She took him in off the streets when he was a wee sprout. Aye. Saved his life, she did, and he's been with her ever since. Could that mean Old that? women aren't commonly in need of a bodyguard. They are when folk from far and wide come flocked to have their fortune sold. Fame don't sit well on her considering how little she cares for company. Surely she does not refuse of every visitor. Right. Bit of funny one, ain't it? A seer who could see the future clear as day but don't tell no one what she knows. Well, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. You don't you don't want to mess... I mean, I doubt she understands the whole idea of messing with time, but she might just figure that people don't need to know their futures. Right? People will make the decisions they're going to make. Alec turns them away, and no amount of begging or beseeching make one spit of difference. Oh, yes. Every now and then a fool tries to get rough with Alec, but often as... As not ends up w with only a cracked skull for his trouble. Curses. Finding her was easy, but talking to her may prove it more, diff more difficult. So what? Do I gotta like accost this dude? I mean, I can do it. I don't. Oh, I gotta provoke him. Okay. Greetings. I have business with Susanna. But thou sayest nothing, and thou won't, and thou will not listen either. Ugh. Then I have no choice. Now I am far above the level necessary for this. So, despite the fact that I have put no effort into getting more animals because I don't need them, honestly, getting animals just seemed like more work to me. Honestly, like being stronger than your opponent is all I really care about. Everything else is pointless. I could be stronger. I could get stronger animals, but if I'm already a monster as it is, eh. No, nah, no, nah, not a lot of point, really. Now, let us hunt him. Let my arrow fly in truth. Yeah, this could take a while. I will not do thy uh. Yeah, he ain't hitting me for dick. This fight's just gonna take time. It's not gonna be difficult. What next? Oh, so this literally does nothing anyways, does it? 
try and miss. Ah, my face. Oh, it does do more for Lynn, because she did way more damage that time. Okay. So it's not just a complete waste. Sweet. Or maybe it is. I'm not entirely sure now. See, this is actually like the worst part of this game. I get that if I had more powerful monsters on my side, this fight would have been over by now. But still, like, that's a mechanic I don't want to have to interact with. Because I find Hanit more effective not messing with it. See, what's interesting about me doing this is that I have a really close friend of mine who has, like, given me nothing but excuses about this game. Or about, you know, his issues with this game. And his biggest issue is, oh, well, I can't power my way through the game. Which is wrong? You can? I, I question how much fun that is, but you could definitely power your way through the game. It's not impossible to do. I want to see where he stands right now. Oh god, he's still got so... Well, everybody, I hope you enjoy yourself, because we're going to be here a fucking long time killing this man. Because, uh, he can't kill me, I'll tell you that much. He ain't dealing dick to me, but he damn sure isn't going to die anytime soon at this rate. You know, I mentioned it before. Look, here's the thing about Octopath Traveler that I don't think people grasp sometimes. The game isn't difficult. Honestly, the hardest part of this game that I've had has oftentimes been the process of leveling up your team. And generally speaking, I don't like to agree with reviewers very often, but some of the reviews have a point about this game. This game flows a thousand times better if you don't do eight characters. If if you just made your playthrough consisting of four stories, this game is probably an abundantly easier thing to handle because at least you're only leveling four characters. And the fact that this game lacks like an EXP share or some kind of leveling system to keep your other party members up to date, yo, this this would be so much easier. But yeah, like, the biggest issue with this game, in my mind, is just the fact that, like, if you're doing what I'm doing, which is not the most intelligent way to play this game... Oh, wow, he's actually dead. Shit. Okay. Never mind. Took a while, but still. 250 XP. I am clearly way too fucking powerful. <laughs> I'm level 56. I don't know why I'm surprised. Oh, the game doesn't give me any XP anymore. Uh... The game makes me work super effing hard to get to where I am. Oh, wait. I'm like, what? 10 plus levels over what the game is going to consider to be the proper level to beat the final the final boss for every single story? Yeah, probably. Shit. There are people on YouTube who've beaten the final, final boss. Like the true, like the special boss. At like under 45. 
there's like speed runs of this game in like an hour and 15 minutes where they beat the game at like level 15. So, you know, more power to them, I guess. <laughs> He's a man grown, but still a boy within. Be a dear, Hannet, and have Linda carry the poor fool within. Linda? The, the, the cat's name is Linda? I just called him Lind. I thought the E was silent. Huh. He'll be catching his death of cold lying out in the snow like a log. <laughs> How dost thou knowest my name? That's what you want to ask, isn't it? I'm a seer, remember? Possessed of the all-seeing eye. Or so they say. Then thou art an oracle. Truly, thou will be able to help. <laughs> Poppycock and nonsense is all it is. Poppycock? A hunter from the woodlands who communes with the beasts. Not a common sight in these parts. The only one who might fit that description is that hobbledy whore, Xanta. Him or his apprentice, Hanet of the Darkwood. Your age, your snow leopard, your garb, simple deduction. The trick is to say what you know and nothing more, and let the gullible fill in the details. Oh, so she's not really a psychic. Okay, game. That's all Susanna's famous all-seeing eye is, in the end. Well, disappointed to learn I'm just a fraud? On the contrary, now I know I can trust thee. If thou speakest the truth about this, then surely thou wouldst not speak false of aught else. There before you, but that Zonta lad raised a clever apprentice, and that's the truth. Now, why don't you tell me why you're here? <coughs> but first, let's go inside, shall we? It seemeth that would be for the best. That young master of yours has managed to get himself into a right mess, hasn't he? Mistress Susanna, canst thou help in him? There is one way. In truth. Truth? Ah, now that's a word. You said you trusted me, remember? If there is the slightest chance of lifting that curse, I will trust whomever I need to. Milady? Gods take my eyes if that fool hasn't raised a strong and brave young woman. I'd scarce believe it if you weren't standing here in front of me. I learned from his example. The good and the bad. <laughs> Is that so? Can't imagine that would work, but the world is full of wonders at that. Isn't that so, my dear? <laughs> it is. But about the curse, I am prepared for any trial. There is but one way to turn stone back to living flesh. And that is to slay the beast that wrought the curse. I had feared as much, but it shall be done. Stay, child. I'm not finished yet. Did Santa forget to teach you patience? 
my apologies. If you try to fight the beast as you are, you'll only meet the same fate as your master. And what good will you be to him then? But I must... What you must do first is find the means to protect yourself from Red Eye's legal power. Tell me, dear, have you heard of a plant called Herb of Grace? Never. Long ago, there was a beast in these parts, too, that turned men to stone. Folks here soon learned that Herb of Grace could ward off the magic. I reckon it should be effective against Red Eye as well. Herb of Grace grows in a forest so thick there are few ways in. I'll send a layer ahead to show you the entrance to the trail. Yo, these pronunciations are not what I expected. But know that the forest is a perilous place and home to many frightful beasts. You want to prepare well before you venture in. I shall. Thank thee, my lady. <laughs> Tis my pleasure, dear. In a strange way, that Zanta boy was like a son to me. A vexing, wayward one, but a son all the same. With you being his apprentice, it rather makes you my grandchild now. <laughs> and what kind of a grandmother would I be if I refused to lend you a helping hand? Master and I are both in thy debt. All right. So we have our mission to find what we need in order to resist Red Eye's ability to uh, turn us into stone. Because that could be a real uh, pain in the butt, if you ask me. Being turned into stone and all. And I'm not too down with being turned to stone, frankly, if I can help it. I don't want to... That is not a day for me, my friends. I am not looking to get turned into stone. No. No, I'm not. Just some extra... I got plans for more armor, guys. Don't worry. That's not... I haven't forgotten. It's on my list to do. I just feel the need to complete this aspect of the game first. Really, um... Between this and Chapter 4, which will be up in the next day or so, I will have all the armor I need. I just... I need some time to get set up for that. So, yeah, you know. Most why? And I thought Herb of, I thought Herb of Grace was gone from this world. Even botanists believed the plant was long extinct. To think it still grows in these wintry wastes, tis a miracle or near enough. Yes, this is why a true scholar should not confine himself to his office. Who knows what great discoveries await in the far in the far flung frontiers? It pleases me that you find this joys in the quest. And yet, that's Susanna, woman. What of her? Well, I was just most impressed to encounter one so wise and astute. And her name, it sounds familiar somehow. I must review my tomes when this journey is over. Huh. Makes me wonder if I'll find out more about this in uh, Cyrus's tale. That'll be something to look into, right? That's the road to the uh, Obsidian Parlor. Yeah, we've done that before, by the way. If you haven't if you haven't checked out about the Obsidian Parlor, feel free to go look at my Chapter 2 of uh, Primrose's story to find out more about that little incident. Oh, nice. So this is a level 37 area. Now, just in case you all forgot. So this team is a little higher level than what you might remember. As I said, I've only recently caught up on getting everything uploaded. So my team is a little higher than you probably remember. Ulbrick, of course, being a monster. But let's face it. There's very few teams I can create where Ulbrick isn't a complete and utter monstrous human being. Gentlemen. Now then. 
I don't really want to fight you guys out. Like, I have no need to. I have a place to go grind out experience, and you guys aren't going to be the things that give me enough experience to even justify the battle, really. So yeah, we'll just continue our way down this uh, snowy path till we hit the save point. You guys know the drill. We've been doing this for three months. Or a little over, a little less than three months, actually. You know what? They're here. Screw it. We're going to kill something for a turn. Nice, we saw that benefit from a sword. About time. Oh, nice. They're weak against dark magic, too. Oh! Uh, what? Excuse you? Um, hmm. I wasn't ready for that shit. The fuck? How? What in the world is this garbage? How did they hit me so hard? I didn't sign up for this. Jesus! Okay. Um, that was not what I was expecting. I walked into this completely unaware of what I was getting my ass into. Alright, game. Alright, touche. Touche. Don't worry, game. I'm aware now. You, you have made your point very clear. I'm gonna have to start taking you seriously at this point. I just, I can't go walking into this game like that. I have to be fully aware at all time because the game does not give a shit about me, about what I believe. It's just gonna take advantage of me. All right, game. Touche. Touche. I have been made aware now, game. I am on the same level. Grim, grim whiteness as far as the eye can see it. It's colder here too. The wind cutteth to the bone. Come on. This way. Now then. A trail. Mm -hmm. A secret path only the mistress knows. It leads straight to the heart of the forest. Out here, the stone never melts. It covers landmarks and, other, and makes every direction look much like the other. The herb of grace grows somewhere deep in the forest. But be wary, many dangerous fiends lurk within. This is why Susanna keeps the knowledge of this path secret. <laughs> so, da so you do speak, and as well as any man. Only when I have something to say. Thanks be to thee. Huh. <laughs> Will that more people in the world follow with the same principle? Go carefully. I have not seen Susanna look so happy for many a year. <laughs> Pray return safely so you might bring her more joy. I shall. 
I owe her that much, and more. I will prevail. I feel, I feel abused, guys. Straight up, I feel straight up damn abused. This game done abused the shit out of me over some nonsense. That one enemy encounter made me look like a damn fool. That's ridiculous. I am so, I'm pissed off now. This game is getting it. We're gonna save it. You know the drill. I will see you all next time on Octopath Traveler. And pray help us all that that does not happen again. Till then, guys, stay tuned. And I will see you all next time.